going on everybody? Chris Myers here for Piceon 3D Printers and today we're going to talk about the uh, Dremel 3D45 3D printer. Now the 3D45 differs quite a lot from the 3D40. They look very similar but the 3D45 has a huge uh, set of differences and I'll break them down for you and this is basically how it is. So first of all, the 3D40 was for, you know, design with ed education and for schools and higher learning, that kind of stuff. Uh, where the 3D45 is more for manufacturing, okay? This was designed by the Bosch engineers for basically themselves. And Dremel decided, hey, well, it might be a good idea to sell this because I'm sure other people want it on a more professional um, type of 3D printer. So the 3D45 is their uh, brainchild between the two groups and um, it has a lot of features in the software and everything else or is a little bit more advanced than the 3D40s to allow it to be able to be chained together uh, for a manufacturing fleet um, of printers. Uh, it, contains a, um, a an HD camera for uh, looking at and watching monitoring your prints as they go uh, to make sure that you know you can do that without having to stand over it the entire time and you can do it all through the cloud so you don't even have to be in the plant to keep an eye on it uh, there's alerts and stuff that it'll give you you know for running out of filament that kind of stuff the um, and you can send the prints as well uh, remotely uh, the other advantage is the probably the biggest difference is is the filament types uh, generally for the other models you're limited to the PLA filament where with this one you actually get to use three different types of filaments uh, Dremel has produced a nylon a PLA and then of course a what they call the echo ABS so it's an ABS plastic but it's also non-toxic and to add to the coolness of this new feature they've added um, a sensor system on the spool so that way regardless you know whatever type of spool you put in it automatically detects what type of spool that is and will adjust all the temperatures on the plate and on the extruders uh, immediately so now you've got the ability to change it out you don't have to mess around with it like some of the others where you have to tweak and and mess with to get it you just plug it away and away you go so just like on the 3040 it takes very little time to set up and, and get going so uh, with all of that uh, I have a much more detailed review uh, in the link below uh, as well as uh, links to the product themselves and uh, as always uh, I would appreciate a like and uh, if you would prefer I'd like you also to hit the little bell icon so that I'll, way that'll alert you the next time I have a come up with a video as I will be making more of these and reviewing various different printers so in the meantime happy printing